You know, people lo uh, love Alex Nagalasi Sana, so we are planning something. I can't lie to you, we are planning something as we speak right now um, to Naongea. So we might start something very soon, a weekly show. Yeah, we are going to have a podcast planning to Alex Nagalasi. Can you tell us? It was a point in my life when my show alone would bring like 30 million. Okay, four hours only. So you can imagine. So, for example, if your show brings 30 million, well, how much do you think your boss is supposed to pay you? Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Trudy Kitui, of course, the queen of content. And today we are here to celebrate Alex Mwakideu, 20 years of Radio Guru. Hey, congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate Miss Trudy. Thank Who you so much. How is the feeling? It feels good. It feels amazing. Uh -huh. Two decades is not a joke. Eh? No. Broadcast business. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So it feels really good to celebrate today uh -huh. and to see my people around here. Okay. I mean, it feels really amazing. Uh -huh. Yes. Maybe Alex, please tell us uh, you, the first time you were on air. Yeah. My first time I was on air, like live, uh -huh. it was a um, news bulletin at 1 p.m. You know, the news anchor got stuck in some traffic in Mombasa. Uh -huh. And um, I was told, this is your time to shine. So, kama unaweza piga. I likuwa news kwa Kiswahili. And likuwa nime train for some time. So, nika ingia kwa hewani. Nika ipiga fiti. And that's how I got employed. So, this means uh, you got uh, into media behind the scenes, not... Oh, yes. It was behind the scenes. Yani kwa dirisha kule. Misi kuingia media. I didn't study media, you know. So, I just got it behind it. I mean, behind the scene because... Getting into media, we were doing commercials for the radio station. I was an actor since um, I was a young boy. So to go to Nafanya commercial dramas, we were on retainers, to live for 5,000 shillings per month. Yeah, and then I started reading. Kuna best yangu aletoa Peter Musembi. Aliniambia you have a good voice. You can read news. So I started practicing. So when that opportunity came in, nikasoma vizuri, nikaandikwa kazi ya kusoma habari. So first of all, I was a news uh, anchor before I became a a regular radio presenter, yeah. And uh, maybe, because it's your day, can you yeah. share a little bit of how has the journey been? And uh, you've worked with so many people as yeah. a presenter. To elezee tu kidogo imekuwa the challenges have been there. Ojo, ojo, nanine, it's an easy thing. Let me tell you, it's not an easy thing. You know, first of all, as a radio presenter, when you get a new presenter, unangwa sasa fanya kazi na uyu, ungamia hapa, you know? Umeletewa mtu kama jala, sama MCA Tricky, umangwa sasa anza na uyu. First of all, muna gombana, muna pigana. People don't know, but behind the scene, kuna vita sana, by the way. Because mimi spendi ujinga kwa show yangu. Hey. Spendagi ujinga kapsa, spendagi ujinga, spendagi ufala. Hey. So tuna pigana sana before, is shape ikwe fiti. So it's not been an easy journey. The people I've worked with, watakwambia, akina jalas, we used to fight almost after every show. You know? Akina MC a tricky, the same. Akina with Broda, the same. Otos. Uh, Nico Ziambo, Dennis Okari, they will all tell you it's not a ticket to ya in a panika to put up one and a vita behind the scene. Lakini uh -huh. kisha shape vizuri kienda, that's it. Checking what I have a party hard time, Sana. Yalango, by the way. Eh, hey. hey, true. Why would I party hard time, Sana? Why? Ah, uh, hasiki tu, hasiki tu na na diamini tu. Maybe be an instance. Yeah. Yeah. You will come a gombana. Do I remember one? Wow, There's, there were so many actually. There were so many. We used to go to our boss was uh, Tom Japani, who is also here with us. He'll tell you we used to go to his office every day after the show. Nakobana too. And so we, we had a lot of those instances. But the good thing is, he, he would come in at time. This is to Nafigaga job as we ma bema sote wawili. So we keep time. When it's time to work, at Jagina Yobu. Lakini give katema share pia, at Jagina share, to na ipiga ku ipiga. So you know, kitu lilifanya pia tuka ile best ikatanya tuka gel um, eventually we became what people call the best collab. Uh -huh. What radio? Yes. Just speaking of that, you know, most of people miss you together with Jalas. Yes. Because the uh, show yako na Jalas, I think kuna chemistry plan you guys wa muliko melewa na sana. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe uh, what can you say about Jalas right now because it's not on radio? Anatamani radio, tunakutana karibu daily. Ana saya nakuja, yuko tu hapa hapa nipigia tu simu saya. Anatamani radio sana. But anyway, um, I know people uh, love Alex Nagalasi sana. So we are planning something. 
I can't lie to you, we are planning something as we speak right now um, to Naongea. So we might start something very soon, a weekly show. Yeah, to pick a kid to come back a podcast planning. Can you tell us? Can you tell us? Yes, yes, yes. Now, after maybe mentioning to Ambali Kupia Kidogo Akatim Gumu Konya industry, Nani Ambali Kidogo, you really uh, work smoothly with as a co host. Yeah. As a co host, it was Nico Diambo. Nico Diambo, yes, who right now works with Hot 96. Nico Diambo was a very easy line. To put Nelewana to. Eh, it was smooth, sana, by the way. Na hii ya jalangoni ni ilikuwa inaleta utofauti sana. Ni kichwa tu. Unajua watu wa kichwa tu, watu tu You know, sote tuna kichwa. Unajua watu wawili kichwa ngumu, inakuwa ngumu sana. Sote ni kichwa tu, by the way. Yeah. Eh, so tu nukotu nafunja natu hivo tu. Uh-huh. Eh. Yeah, look on Radio for 20 years, theorize. Yeah. Utatumutenda tuambia, what has really helped you to be where you are right now? Bado ujaisha, atimeki. Unajua kuna wale watu wanza, wanaisha, watu wanaisha. Discipline and hard work uh-huh. for success. That was our motto um, where I used to school in primary school, a school called Mikindani Primary. The motto was discipline and hard work for success. Yeah. And by the way, mean me for the to evil. Discipline, I love na hard work. I love me na se magasuzote, si siyato kuzaliwa na magodfa. I'm a good father. I told him I'm a good father. So, if you keep at an affair, you're your tail. When you get an opportunity, you do more than what they expect you to do. You deliver more, way above. You get so that when they look at you, they're like, "Eh, we are doing something up." You get to a point where the company needs you more than you need the company. So, when you get to that level of life where the company needs you more than you need it. Then you are at a good place. Okay. But then you have to put in a lot of work uh-huh. to get there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Looking at the 20 years, Alex, which year would you say was uh, the most memorable and why? The most memorable year and why? Well, maybe I'd say the first time I got a flight. Maybe in the first Japan and Dege. But this radio business was quite Kwanza to Japan and Dege. So my first flight was from Mombasa to Nairobi, Nairobi to Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, ni kapitia Dubai. Ni kwa siya banda ndege ata maramoja. Can you imagine? That was in 2006. Siya banda ndege. Ni kapana ni kaenda paka Australia. And my experience was, uh, ni kwa ni kwa kukava Commonwealth Games. And I was covering for Swahili radio stations around East Africa. In Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, and Congo. You know, so that was a very good experience. I would talk to radio presenters in Congo, talk to them in Uganda, the ones who are in Tanzania, you know, and just link with them and oh, yeah. give them stories from Melbourne, oh, yeah. Australia. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after that, yeah. someone out there will want to know, Alex, within the 20 years, have you ever gotten fired? No, I haven't, to be honest. I haven't gotten fired. Um, I may resign too. Eh, uh, mimi nime resign, lakini sija yuko fired by the way. Sija yuko fired. Yes. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. It has never happened. Mimi nifanye kazi mzuri shiko. Sinaga ubaya, sinaga ubaya. Mimi nifanye kazi mzuri. Kazi unapiga. Anapiga kazi by the way. Sasa unanifuta kwa nini? Wewe niandike tu kazi. Eh. Let's bring a radio presenter. Unaweza sema what are some of the achievements? Zingine tunaona, zingine ni wewe unajua. Some of the achievements zenye umemeka as a radio presenter for all these 20 years you work. Well, radio um pays well. It does pay well. Um, especially come you do a good job. You see, radio is all about two things. Ratings and revenue, okay? When you do a good job, you get ratings. Ratings now are the number of listeners who listen to you. So when you have so many listeners listening to you, then revenue comes in. So when revenue comes in, like there was a point in my life when my show alone would bring like 30 million, okay? Four hours only. So you can imagine. So for example, if your show brings 30 million, well, how much do you think your boss is supposed to pay you? How much do you think your boss is supposed to pay you if you give them 30 million every month? Every month. 
So you can imagine. So, so read your page. It does page. Let me ask this. So, um, what was the highest amount you have ever been paid in radio? Well, now, we just said you mentioned. Who knew that? Who that? No, you mentioned. No, 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 no. Uh -huh. No, but radio pays well. Uh -huh. And like you asked, there's, there's, there's so much that um, radio means idea. There's a lot of investment in yeah. this idea uh, in terms of Denga, Puno Mwajamba, Puno Mwanyumba, Nakadalika. You know where you get to a place in life where, yeah, the video in Asema. Bibilia in Asema, you should have seven ways of income, of making income. Bibilia. Now you know me, I'm a Christian. So when you get to a place where in life you have like seven streams of income, then you are at a, at a better place. Yeah. Yeah. You've seen so many celebrities here, they're here to support you, yeah. they're here to celebrate you. How does that make you feel? To celebrate, to be with you. It feels nice, it feels really yeah. good. And you know what, Miss Trudy? This is just because, um, you know, we should do in our two, okay? We should do in our two, kutangamana na watu vizuri, kuongea na watu vizuri, kuwa na heshima, hakuna kiburi. So, watu wana kuchukulia tu hivo. So, nakuta ukita mtu kwa ni, na, mwakideo, mwakideo mtu wangu. Sita kosa, utakuja. Okay. Is this your first event ama kuna ingine labo show yeka? Yeah, radio apana. For radio, this is the only event. Yeah. How has it been to plan and everything? It was a very random idea, by the way. Yeah. We just sat with a few of my friends. By the way, you know, I'm going to 20 years. I'm going to do something like that. One month ago, by the way. I'm going to say, why not? Let me do something. So yeah, one, two, one, two. Hello, nini, 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 nini. I've done this alone, by the way. Hey, we alone? Yes, I've done this alone. Sasa sina karibisha. Sasa jamani pesa kwa radio iko. Mimi bado peke yangu bado to be honest. Mimi bado pasta pasta nikasema why not? Because you never know. Um I might be retiring soon. I might be retiring soon. So I thought before that happens, let me celebrate with my people. Yeah. So what are you expecting tonight? Good times and inshallah. I'm expecting people to just drink and eat and smoke and uh, talk and dance and yeah i'll have a few you know like videos here and there and a few just, just really like minimal speeches so i'm going to spend the speech kapsa so kuwangi ya kidogo tu alafu sherehe zaidi yeah now maybe um with the 20 years kuna watu wengi sana that are really looking up to you what will you advise someone who's maybe um uh, that's the dream that they want to live doing media, doing radio. What are they looking for? Well, I'll say number one um, if you're in a position like this where I am right now, you need to give opportunities to other people. When you see, when you see talent somewhere, when you see talent, you give an opportunity. You hold at least one part. You know, 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 you Mimi pita Musembi aliniona. Sasa yuko BBC London. Aliona akasema una sauti ya nini? Uko na sauti ya nini? Kumbuka sikaenda hata shule. Akanenda anza ku practice. If it was not for Peter Musembi to tell me that, would I be here? You know? So now that is for people who are already in the media, in the scene. But for people who want to be like Alex Mwakideo, when you get now that opportunity, when you get it, whatever opportunity it is. Hakuna njia mbili. Mimi nasemaga Kiswahili piga ua. Kanyaga, ikupe kapsa, all right? So that they give you more and more and more and more. Yeah. Now, Alex, you're a legend for our industry in terms of entertainment radio. But we have celebrities who are going through a lot. They don't speak it out. I don't know if you've ever gone through some depression, you want to stress, but where's your girl? You men don't speak most of the time. And maybe if you have an advice to anyone who's going through maybe challenges, kind of depression, kidogo. Um, I was raised in a family of seven people, you know, seven siblings. Yeah. My dad, my mom, plus my four, my three brothers and my three sisters. So, kwetu tulikuwa wengi. So, mi nimezoya watu. Na mi napenda watu. Na nikona watu wengi wana misaround. You know, people I talk to. So, the only thing I can tell anyone who's listening right now, or watching right now, is you must have people. You can't be alone. You can't walk alone, okay? Waswahili wanasema kidole kimoja kivunji chawa. All right? So you can't walk alone. I have people. Sometimes I call someone at night in the middle of the night and I cry. And they pick up. These are my people who would pick my calls at any time, you know? There's a moment I had I had issues, you know? So so at around Satisa I woke up and I was crying. 
and I called this guy Nikita to Kaongea for hours. And we prayed and we prayed together the Kalala. So you see, you must have people you can rely on. You can call at any time. You can't walk alone. Yeah. Lastly, because uh, Fika Hapa is because of the fans when you're the Shikili of your support, just talk to them by the one machine. Eh, my fans, my when I only skilliza yani sasa how do kina kin. Say give you my fans be one of young. Naishangufu, naishangufu, sin and goof. Because you know, if it wasn't for them, then you know they would never be Alex Makideo. So for the fans who are watching, who are liking my post, who are you know commenting, who are texting during my show, calling during my show, listening without even calling, I want to wengi at I want to appreciate them. I want to tell them thank you so much, and um, God bless you. You know, and thank you for holding my hand. And um, to Kombele, from Pigo Zaini. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.